Hello everyone, welcome to the chapter on data file handling. This is the part 12 of this particular chapter and today we are going to discuss a very small topic which is opening a file using with clause. Alright, so this is the syllabus and out of the syllabus we are going to discuss the topic that is highlighted. So as we know, we have already learned one method of opening files that is using the open function. Okay, but we have another method called opening a file using with clause. In this part, we are going to see exactly that. So in order to open files, so at first what we have to do, we need to create a file. So let me just create a file for you. So this is a new file that I'll uh, write anything like this is a, I hope that the text is visible. This is a test file all right so i have opened a new file and in this new file i'll just save its contents all right i'll save it with any name let me name it as pqr.txt okay i'm taking the help of a text file and with the help of text file only i'm going to explain this concept and then i'll just save it after that let us first revise the open function quickly before we uh, go to opening a file using with clause. All right, so let me open a new file. All right, there in order to open a file, what we need to do, we need to create a file object. What is a file object? All these things are already discussed in the previous parts. You can go and check out those videos if you are not very clear with those topics. Now here, open so open function is one of the methods for opening a file within the open function what we need to give we need to give the file name or the file path let me give the file name which is pqr.txt in our case and the file mode so what we are going to do we are going to read data from that file via python so for reading the file mode is r you can even skip r because r is the default file mode but here uh, for your better understanding, I am giving the file mode here. After that, let's take another variable. Let's call it as y. y equals to x dot read. Now, what does the read function do? Read function will extract the entire data from the file pqr.txt and it will store it in the variable y. Now, if I want to uh, like see what are the contents of that file, I need to print y. Now, after a file is used up, the file, the resources of the file are not cleared automatically. But it's a uh, good way, uh, it's a good thing if we uh, like close the resources explicitly. So for closing the resources after it is being used up, we need to give a function called the close function. So in open function, the resources are not closed automatically. We need to close it via the close function. So after doing that, let me save this file. Now, since I have not given the path of the file, I need to save this Python file in the same location where I have stored the text file. Okay, so let's give it any name. Uh, let's say testing with dot py. The name is up to you, but don't forget to give the file extension of Python that is .py. After that, let me click on save. Now, as I run the file, what I'm getting, I'm able to see the contents of the text file pqr.txt. So if I open the text file and show it to you, the same contents, which is this is a test file, it is shown via the Python output also. So this method we already know. Now let us go to opening a file using with clause. So the with clause is used in file handling in order to open files. Just like open function, we have another method called with clause. So this clause is used in order to open files. Now what is the advantage of with clause over open function that we are going to see now? The advantage of opening a file using with clause is that with the with clause, the resources are automatically released once its usage is complete. So with the open function, the resources that are taken up 
when we connect python to a to an external file they are not released automatically but if i use the with clause the resources are automatically released now let's see the syntax of with clause the syntax goes as follows with open then within bracket we need to specify the file name or the file path and then we need to give a comma and specify the file mode this is basically the same as we did with the open function after that we need to use a keyword as file object file object is nothing but a variable it's up to you what where, what name you want to give to the file object all right after that here let us see what the different parts indicate file name or file path indicates the name or complete path of the file to be handled file mode denotes the mode of operation on the file means what operation we are going to do on the file it may be read mode if i want to use read mode it will be r if i want to use write mode it will be w if i want to use read and write mode it will be r plus if i want to use append mode i'll be using a so file mode will depend upon the operation that you would like to perform on that particular file all right so now let's uh, do a program using the with clause so let me write the heading here opening a file using with clause so let's simply apply the syntax with open then you may you may give the name of the file if the file, text file is located in the same location where you have saved the python file then you just give the name of the file the name of the file in our case is pqr.txt comma the file mode we are going to perform the reading operation from the file so we are giving the file mode as r then we need to use a keyword as as after that we need to give a file object let's say the file object i want to give is x all right so i've given x here after that you start a block here now we need to extract the data from the file pqr.txt and store it in a particular variable let's assume the variable to be y so we, we will give here y equals to x dot read so what read function will do it will bring the entire data from pqr.txt and it will store in the variable uh, y now in order to view the data we need to print y all right after that we'll save it i have overwritten in the previous file therefore i have just uh, uh, it is the previous contents and pressed control s here now let me run the file okay source must be saved saved it so you can see this is a test file so i have taught both the methods in which a file can be extracted via python this is using the open function here see after using the file I have not closed the file explicitly because if I use the with clause then the resources that are consumed by the file uh, are automatically released all right so this was the code that we used and this is the output all right so this was a very small topic I hope that this is clear and with this we have completed all the topics from the chapter data file handling so if new topics are added up in the future then i'll be dealing with those topics also but as per the date of recording this video all the topics from this chapter are covered i hope the session was useful thank you very much